Hey you guys, it's Christina. I just wanna send a little bit of love your way today. Some comfort, some hugs over the screen. <laughs> it's been a wild ride the past couple of months for many of us due to COVID-19. And I wanna share a more personal video with you about how this has changed my life. Everyone has had such a different experience with the virus and everyone is coping with it in their own way. You're not alone. And I think right now we need more connection. We need more positivity and encouragement. And I just hope to give you some of that today. <laughs> the past two months for me have been crazy and overwhelming to say the least. <laughs> I've had four family members test positive with the virus and not just test positive, but get very sick. My aunt, my uncle, my grandmother, and my grandfather, who was one of the most important people in my life to me, he was hospitalized for seven days in the COVID unit and he was on oxygen. And he's in recovery now, the entire family is in recovery now, I'm happy to say. It's been a wild ride. <laughs> also, I reopened my co-op, Roughly Organic, after nearly four years of having been closed to help support our local farmers in Texas, and we successfully fed over 1,300 families. Also, my rescue puppy, Coco, got his second MRI results back, and we're getting ready for his big, big surgeries now. Uh, one of which includes his eye removal and also his possible brain hernia operation. There's been much more that's happened. Those are just a few of the things, the big things that I'm sharing. There's just a lot going on, as I can imagine that there's a lot going on in your lives as well. My heart and condolences are also with those who've lost a loved one during this time. I know that it has not been easy, and I'm so sorry for the pain that you've had to go through. And for anyone else who's experiencing pain right now, I just want to send you my empathy and my love and, and let you know you're not alone. I'm sharing all this with you in hopes that you will see that you're not alone. And it's important for us to connect in ways that are positive. Right? We don't always have to bond over uh, <laughs> negativity or stressful situations, but we can find the positive in certain things as well. This crazy world pandemic and world lockdown has really forced me to ask myself some important questions. For instance, <laughs> what's important to me? What's really important to me? How do I want to move forward with my life? What impact do I want to leave behind? How would you answer these questions for yourself? What's changed for you? Has anything changed at all? I'm sharing all the positive ways that this virus has changed my life because I feel we need more good news. There's so much negativity floating around and I just want to focus on the positive. There is a silver lining in much of this if we look for it. I'm excited because my next video is gonna be with my grandparents and they're gonna be sharing with us their journey and having recovered from COVID-19. So uh, please stay tuned for my next video. Just keep a lookout for it. I'm really happy to share that one with you. And <laughs> some of the things I'm sharing with you might be things we already know or have known, but because of the current circumstances, some of these things have become even more apparent to us. The first few points are very specific to me and perhaps to you too. And the end points are specific to my family and many of my friends, things that they've shared with me as well. And I'm only sharing these points to show a vast perspective on how COVID-19 has changed our lives. So that being said, here are the silver linings I'd like to share with you. The first thing I'd like to share with you is that time with our loved ones is precious love them. Now this is something that I already knew, but I have a much deeper sense <laughs> of it now. Savor the moments you can with your loved ones as much as possible. I've had four family members go through this experience and 
having not just one of them sick, but all four of them go through this at the same time has really made me realize how important family is. Life is precious and moments together are precious. There's been much more compassion in my family and love and understanding. My grandfather has been my hero to me my whole life and just seeing how he was so brave and strong throughout all of this gave me so much hope. And he's almost 97 years old. He's such a wonderful human and I can't wait to share his story with you. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, the next thing I wanna share with you is that all of this uncertainty has brought about a deeper sense of spirituality, grounding sense of grace and gratitude for me. And it's directed me to be there for those I know who are struggling with depression or anxiety. And if you're like me, and if you identify with being the strong one in your family, the best advice I can give would be to do your best to be a beacon of light and support for those dealing with overwhelming thoughts and be there to support them however you can. I have really expanded my definition on what it means to hold space for others. It's an honor and a blessing. Third, there's more time. Time has slowed down because most of us are home. It's forced us to enjoy life a little bit more. There's more quality time for families to solidify their bonds and be present with one another, whether with FaceTime or Zoom calls, or even if you just live in the same household. I know for me, before this pandemic happened, my life was very much rush, 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 go, go, go. I didn't have as much time as I wanted to savor certain moments or experiences. And yeah, a silver lining in this would be is that it's helped me to really slow down and bring more perspective into life. Another silver lining that I've noticed is that people are reconnecting not only with their health and the importance of health, but also mother nature. I think people are realizing how important it is to take care of their health and to build their immunity. More people are going vegan now than ever before. The price of meat and eggs has gone up because of the demand. So if there ever was a time, now is the time to go vegan. For those who are trying to transition, this is a great indicator that it might be time to replace some of the meals you were eating. They might be more cost effective for you as well. Support your local farmers. More people now are learning to garden as well, to sprout, to be in nature. Can't tell you how many people have emailed me asking for information on sustainability, how to grow their own food, interested in starting their own co-ops. The interest is through the roof. And even just talking with some of these companies who are into sustainability or selling sprouts or seeds, they said they have seen more interest now than they ever have. That really, put a smile on my face and made me excited. It means people are actually taking the time to go back to their roots. For me, I choose to see this as people are waking up to the fact that our health actually matters. The message of health and raw food and wellness has been something that I have been promoting and sharing for the past 15 years. So. Me seeing people really be receptive to this information is amazing to me. People are waking up. The next silver lining I'd like to mention is more people have time to exercise. <laughs> With the gyms, fitness centers, and yoga studios being closed, it can be easy to fall into a sedentary lifestyle. And I think if you're online right now, there are so many workout classes happening. Everybody's getting into fitness. And even if you're not, this is a great time to start using that extra time to do some kind of movement or physical activity of your choice at home. The silver lining is that you have more time to be active at home. And perhaps you're empowered to do more things at home that you wouldn't have done before as well. I know this is an opportunity for you to improve yourself in more than one way. It's been challenging for me too, but I'm learning how to adapt. When you improve yourself physically, you also help your mental well-being. 
Some really good news that I've been seeing is that more people are fostering or rescuing animals now than ever before. I think this shows that people do desire connection and physical touch. Connection is important, even if it's with an animal. <laughs> no man is an island. We require care and love, and I'm just so grateful that this is one of the silver linings since this topic means so much to me already and right now. My puppy Coco is a rescue and he's changed my life in the best of ways. And <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to see that rescue shelters across the nation um, are posting that they're empty and that more people are adopting now than ever before. That's a beautiful thing. On a more serious note, but still a silver lining, I'd like to share that this experience has become an opportunity for me and possibly for you too, to evaluate people's true character. It's really forced me to ask myself who in my life has the same moral compass as me. And perhaps we can all agree that we've seen some people do some crazy stuff during this time period, or we've had some people uh, show some very strange behaviors it's my belief that people's true character has been illuminated during this time. And perhaps this has been a very personal experience to me, but it's helped to show me who I want to align myself with and who I don't. You get to choose now who you want to have in your life and who you don't. <laughs> choose wisely. At the root of your core values, see who you'd like to bond yourself with and who will love and support you unconditionally. It's really important, right? You get to choose your tribe. You get to choose your team. You don't have to put up with abuse. You don't have to put up with strange behaviors. You don't have to put up with people crossing your boundaries or nagging at you or forcing their belief systems on you. You can choose your own community. You can even choose your own behaviors and how you respond. I just know for me that I have seen people's true characters uh, just really come out during this time. Like it's, people are showing you who they are right now. Pay attention to that. This kind of rolls into my next point, which is fear does strange things to people. I choose love. We've all been told so much about this virus whether via the media, the government, our friends, the way the media portrays this can instill in us high amounts of fear because we rarely get to see the success stories or the recoveries. Having experienced this virus with four of my family members, not just one person, but four of them, I've learned that no matter what you believe, once this hits your home, all you have the energy to do is make sure that your family is healthy and well. The worst part about my family members getting this virus was the massive amount of fear looming over at the time. So I encourage you, when we hear stories of success, share them. We need those good stories. Do your best to respond with compassion and be of service however you can. Even though my family left no stone left unturned for our loved ones who were affected, we also thank our first responders and doctors for really putting in the time and effort to help us. One of the most powerful remedies is love. Whatever your truth may be, I hope that you are able to find peace in it and find the calmness in it and find gratitude wherever you can. This leads me to one of my last silver linings that I think I knew before, but just like all the other points that I'm talking about, I have a much deeper understanding of it. And it is that one of the most powerful remedies that we have available to us is love. I choose love. Love heals. Fear has no place with love. Love is trusting, it's faithful, and it's kind. And no matter how you're experiencing this virus right now or how you're dealing with what's happening or other people around you, I hope you choose to bring love to the table. 
And lastly, this is very personal to me, but these circumstances have really forced me to make some big changes in my life in regards to not just my life here in Houston, but elsewhere too, and also with cash. And cash is one of the best things that has ever happened to me in my life. And I hope that you all get to know him in the same light that I do. I'll be sharing more with you about all of that when the time is right. I just want you all to know that I made a personal update video months ago talking about how I was planning to leave Houston and that's become even more evident to me now. And so there are some really big changes coming up in my life uh, when all of this passes and I look forward to sharing some of that with you. Of course, making big decisions like this is never easy and sometimes it takes being thrown into the fire to make you realize what it is that you really want and how you want to contribute to making this world be a better place. They're not easy questions to answer, but we all have the ability to answer. So as I'm doing this work, I can only ask that you do it too, because when I make myself a better person and you make yourself a better person, we're making this world become a better place together. I believe that there are so many positive changes that we can create together. We can coexist. We can create peace and harmony and a more peaceful planet. Ultimately, I believe that we can create a better world and a better culture than what was present before. And I hope that you share the same vision with me because I think we have to if we want to see these changes take place. Thank you. So my next video after this will be of my grandfather sharing his experience recovering from COVID-19. And I'm so happy to share this with you. He's just the most wonderful, adorable human. So please be on the lookout for it. Also, I'd be very curious for you to share with me how this virus has changed your life. And if possible, let's focus on the positive. Maybe share some silver linings in the comments as well. I'd love to create a positive space that we can go to. I know we've all probably just seen too much negativity at this point, so let's try and keep the comments positive. If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more goodness to come. You can also follow my Instagram at FullyRawChristina for more daily updates. Thank you so much for joining me today and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Sending you all my hugs and my love.